My name is Trevor. My name is Nathan. My name is Roman. My name is Sam. My name is Greg Bartlett. My name is Caden Rodriguez. My name is Austin Dillon. My name is Charlie Solari. My name is Brenna Giuliani. My past experiences with TAC TV? Nope. I don't think I have any. I've been here on a tour before. That was a few years ago. I remember coming here for a tour. I volunteered here for a week. My parents work here, so I know a lot about the studio. One of my friends did Pack TV, and he really liked it, and he suggested it to me. I was here last year. I did the camp last year. That was my first time coming here, and I really, really liked it. I came again. I don't have any experiences with the equipment. Not with professional equipment. I have used a camera before. It wasn't like the advanced ones they have here. I've used cameras before, but not big cameras. I have a little bit of experience with the equipment. I made a very short film about my time here volunteering, and I also helped with the live broadcast of the Rotary Auction. The cameras, I feel like I could use a refresher, but I'm excited to use them. I feel very prepared with you know cameras, tripods, most of the equipment. I did this club after school, and they taught us everything I know right now. Today we went over audio. How the audio hooks up to the camera. Sound mixers and how to use them. And we used the microphones. There's the shotgun mic, the lavalier mic, the handheld mic, and the boom mic. We worked on lighting. I think it's one of the most important parts. If there's no lights or anything, you can't really see anything. And we learned about three-point lighting. Three-point lighting is basically lighting behind you, be to the left, and be the right of you. It was really cool how we could take an object and totally change how it looks based on the lighting. Oh, well, my thoughts on doggy fun and fitness. It's an interesting place that I don't really know much about. Definitely should be a challenge for us. I think it's really cool that people who go to work, they can bring their dog there and their dog will have some fun while they're gone. Um, I sometimes wish there was something else, but overall I'm fine with doing that. I like dogs a lot, so I'm excited that we're doing a documentary on dogs. I'm more of a dog person than a cat person. I'm a dog person because it's a man's best friend. I have two dogs. Definitely dog person. I'm a dog person. Dogs like to cuddle and play with you. Definitely a dog person. I have two dogs. They're just awesome. I'm a cat person. So I guess I'm more of a cat person. I'm a cat person because I'm allergic to both, but I'm less allergic to cats. <laughs> We went to the Doggy Fun and Fitness Center. The first person we interviewed was a woman named Rose, who is a client there. Who's actually my godmother. Lori. The owner of Doggy Fun and Fitness. I interviewed Joe. The groomer. And we interviewed Michelle, the trainer. I think my favorite role was interviewing because it was fun to like see their reactions to the questions I asked. My favorite one was probably doing either one of the cameras. Interviewer, I like doing that, that's fun. My favorite was interviewer by far. I film B-roll of the dogs playing and of everything around the lobby. I just like doing the camera. I liked holding the boom mic. I don't know if I was good at it. <laughs> There were a lot of cute dogs at Doggy Fun and Fitness, but the cutest that I saw was, it was this tiny little dog in a sweater that said, call my agent. It was like floppy ears. He kind of looked like a pug. He was super small, but he also looked pretty cute. <laughs> the one that was inside the crate, the Collie. Probably Charlie. Cutest dog in my opinion, probably be uh, Ollie. Very friendly around all of us. His name was Luis, and they call him Luis the Beefcake because he's a mix of my two favorite dogs, Pitbulls and Mastiffs. Poppy was pretty cute, too. I can't remember the names of them, but there's this white dog, which was really nice, and he always wanted to come to us. My name is Erica Christensen, and I am the creative lead and the educational services supervisor. My name is Ben Alexander. I am the government services supervisor. My name is Zachary Dolan. Uh, I'm the educational assistant and production technical assistant. 
So my role for the documentary workshop is I do a lot of the admin work. I am the director of the whole workshop. I teach them how to conduct research, three-point lighting, as well as editing. I, think I usually start them off with media management. I have been teaching the camera class and the audio. We taught them about the importance of music and storytelling, continuity, all the different types of shot styles. I think this year, the students, they were all pretty friendly and right off the bat they all seem to click and, and get along together. The group this year compared to previous years is a lot different mostly because we have more kids than I think we've ever had. They all seem energetic. This year I think all of the kids have been great. They've been doing a very good job of listening and actually working very well with each other. Uh, I think the staff at PAC TV is very friendly. They're really helpful. They're really good at their job. Erica's really nice. She's definitely the most teacher-like person out of the three, but not like in a bad way. She's really passionate. Okay, Ben is like really mysterious, and but he's really nice. Ben is very like uh, chill. Zach's pretty funny. He was in our very sad dog part three. I mean, he was crawling on the ground, which was really funny. He's nice. Fun to have. He's always like cracking a joke. Editing is really necessary, but it's long. I think that editing, it takes a while, and it's sort of hard to learn, but I think it's really good to know. Editing so far is going pretty well, but we've only gotten three minutes off of Lori's interview, and there are three more interviews to do. Editing's gone pretty good. We're going through the interviews, and those can be like a little Editing has been pretty good. It's fun, but it's also a lot of the same thing. It's sort of like, oh, well, you want to go on a run? Yeah, that's going to be fun, but it's just running. <laughs> Editing is going well, but the owner keeps stuttering. Editing is fun to do. There's some things I wouldn't want to do. Well, most of the time, editing is fun to do. I love editing. Editing is my favorite part of making any kind of movie or short film because I, I like how you can take all the footage and do whatever you want with it. I believe that we will be done by Friday. Yeah, I think we should finish by Friday. I think we're gonna be done with like all the edits, but I think there might be like some like really advanced editing stuff. I think we're gonna be ready on Friday. No. My favorite memory has got to be making our movies. Our breaks have been really fun. Going to lunch and like laughing around with everybody. Today we tried to pull Kaden in half. We've been watching weird music videos. The breaks have been interesting. We have a lot of interesting conversations at lunch. Playing the sticky note game. I do not want to reveal what I've been doing during my breaks for reasons. It feels like I'm being interrogated with all these bright lights. The owner of the facility, which I cannot recall their name right now. What was his name? Or which I cannot recall his name either. Tim the Groomer. <laughs> Rob the Groomer. I forget her name. I don't know what the trainer's name was. I don't know why, but I wanted to say her name was Sarah. Melissa? <laughs> Susan. I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. Is it Linda? So I, I'm thinking of Fred and George from Harry Potter. Inky. Jelly? Oh, why do you keep asking me these questions? Joe, Michelle, Lori, and Rose. You're the only one who's gotten all four of this, right? Hi. Oh, uh, hi. Hi, Matt. I'm gonna put this on my resume. I love the call mom and call dad now. Uh oh, what just fell? Are you okay?